Now we're taking a look at order of operations, problem type one. So we're giving something to evaluate and we're asked to follow the order of operations to evaluate this problem. And the first thing I want to do is actually write down my order of operations. And this comes from the please excuse my dear Aunt Sally way of remembering these. And that puts parentheses at the top, then exponents and multiplication and division, and then finally addition and subtraction. I like to write it this way because it shows me top to bottom. That's the way I'm working down. And it reminds me that multiplication and division get done together. If I have more than one, I just go left to right. And it also reminds me that addition and subtraction get done in the same step. And if I have more than one, I just go left to right. So in this problem, I do not have any of the top two. I don't have any parentheses and I don't have any exponents. So I really start off right here as my first order of operation is going to be multiplication and division. But keep in mind, this does not say multiplication and then division. It says multiplication and division get done at the same time. And in this problem, I have division and I have multiplication. So they need to get done from left to right. I'm not going to do the multiplication first and then come back and do the division. I'm going to go left to right. So in my first step, I am actually going to start off with division because it's the one on the left hand side. So I'm just going to bring that down 15 divided by five. That would give me three. And now I'm just going to bring down everything else plus four times six minus nine because I've done one step. I like to do one step at a time. I have done the division and looking at what I have now, I still have this multiplication. So that is going to get done next. So in my next step, I'm just going to bring down the three, bring down the plus, let's see, four times six. That gives me 24. 24 and bring down the minus nine. Notice I really had two steps doing multiplication and division because I had to go left to right. I did the one on the left and then the one on the right. And ironically, now I have addition and subtraction. That's all I've got left. And we know that addition and subtraction gets done together. And it gets done again from left to right because I have more than one. So since this is left to right, I am going to start with the left hand side, the left hand operation, which is addition. 3 plus 24, that's going to give me 27. Bring down the minus 9. And now that I'm left with only one operation, it's the one that has to be done next. 27 minus 9, that gives me 18. So our simplified answer is 18. And we do have to be careful that we follow this order of operations or else we can come up with a different number other than 18.